Oh, it just, it was mainly, you know, to put my own mind at ease. Yeah. I don't need one of my closest friends getting in a fight with this woman over a game. Yeah. Been there, done that, not worth it. It really isn't. Okay, so I assume I'm hosting the server. Yeah, I need to, like, uh, do my settings and everything. Oh, this looks cool. I have, like... What do you mean this looks cool? It looks cool, the game. Well, it hasn't changed. I, I don't remember it being this... looking this nice, but... okay. Well, I mean, I guess the loading screen probably has changed a little bit. It's like a two, right, it's like so a two-dimensional version of Minecraft or something. It's exactly a two-dimensional Minecraft. Is Minecraft like uh, procedurally generated, like randomly generated maps each time? Yeah, that's why they have seeds. Oh. Now, granted, the amount of seeds is infinite with Minecraft, but there are specific seeds that are specifically made to exist. Like, there's one that has that whole welcome to Minecraft world thing. That's yeah. an actual seed. Oh, shit. I assume we're playing on a large map. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't care what, what we do. We'll probably play classic difficulty because journey. I have no idea what the fuck it is. We should probably do easy or whatever because I have no idea how to play this. I don't remember. I mean, classic would be the closest you're getting. I think journey is basically just creative. I have no idea. Yeah. You know what? We'll try journey. That's probably the easiest difficulty possible. Yeah. Alright, let me do my settings real quick. Let's see. Uh, volume, turn <laughs> that down a bit. Oh, I should see how popular t t er, Terraria is on Twitch. Not that it matters, because I stream to YouTube and Twitch at the same time. So. And no, I haven't decided if I'm streaming or not. Autosave, is that, is that, like... Autosave, it's exactly as it sounds. I know, but, it, but is it, should I have that or no? Like, does it matter? I mean, it's, for playing on my server, your settings aren't gonna matter. Okay, so I just turn it off. At all. Uh, map enabled, what does that mean? Oh, you can you see the map or something somewhere? Yeah, the mini map. Password's visible, password's for what? <laughs> Uh, like, say I put a password on my server for you to join. It yeah. will show you what you're typing. Oh. I don't generally put passwords, though, because you have to be on my Steam's friend list. Steam's friend list to be able to join my games. Watch out. Okay. Uh... What the fuck am I listening to? I mean, obviously, it's my Twitch, but what the fuck was I listening to? Yeah. I forgot that I have to set it up a specific way. Or it won't actually work. Okay, and since I said journey, that means you're also going to have to, uh... <coughs> have your character created as a journey character. Gotcha, okay. All right, I did all the settings, so. Wait, what? I did all the settings, so do I, how do I join you? Do I have to okay, create, so. Do I have to create a character to first? join, uh, you have to create a character, obviously. Okay. So but there's the multiplayer button. If you hit multiplayer. Yeah. And you hit, I think it's just called join. Join by Steam, right? Yeah, you can join me directly. Yeah. I'm gonna start working on building us a base right off the bat. Uh, oh no, I started with an iron, a uh, tiny iron axe. Oh. And yes, depending on what, what your name or your weapon says depends on what they can do. Yeah. Like, my iron hammer is normal, but my axe has less reach because it's tiny. So, journey is what you're doing, right? Yeah. Journey, can you start with extra equipment? Can only be playing on journey worlds? Watch out. Alright. 
Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, never mind. Iceman. Really? That's all it does is just let you start with extra shit? I mean, if you read the thing, yeah. I don't ever read the thing. <laughs> you should know this. Yes, I do. Um, I mean, fuck, right now I'm playing a uh, walk or not a walkthrough, a playthrough of Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix with mods, and I've skipped every cutscene because I've seen them all. I'm just, I'm just gonna join because whatever. I have a bird on my head. I also have wings. This is a brand new character, so I guess you start with wings. That slime has a ribbon on its head. And it just got the shit beat out of it by a bird. So I have no idea how to play this, I don't remember. Well, first things first, we gotta build a base. On the bright side, we spawn with a bird that fights for us. So you're gonna chop down some more trees while I level out the ground for us. So we just... I shoot, your axe I, shoot I, sh I shoot missiles, I guess. No, that's a sword. Oh. oh <laughs> what the fuck am I supposed to use? I shoot missiles. No, you don't. Not yet. Like that, right? Yeah, are you clicking the tree, though? No. Oh, no, I am. Yeah, yeah you gotta click the tree to take it down. You have to actually click the fucking... Oh, shit. That's insane. Unless you have the other setting on, which I think is shift, then it targets whatever your... Oh! ...your item can have. No, it's control. My bad. Oh, you left the stump. That's gotta go, too. For the most part, focus solely on the base of the trees, like right at the root. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Or stump, I guess, technically. So, what are we doing exactly? Are we building a base, you said? Yeah, that's the first thing we gotta get dealt with, is building a base. And this should be wide enough. Can't move anymore. There. there we go. Yeah, there was dirt in our way. I've gotta take some dirt. And level out this portion of the ground. Oh, I don't have to keep Once clicking. I I get... just... Okay. Yeah, you can just hold it, which is nice. Once I get uh, this section built, then we can focus on replanting trees because we're gonna need them. Right. At a later point. Everything's kind of small. Is it small for you? Because like the characters are small and everything's small. <laughs> Oh, well, yeah, it's a 2D platform type thing. I guess it's just the We're screen. not supposed to be giant. Yeah. <coughs> Me with my blind ass, I'm like, I want everything, like, at least twice the size. <laughs> well, if you wanted that, you should have gotten Minecraft, but that costs more. Yeah. It's fucking stupid how Minecraft is still being charged full price for. Yeah. Despite, you know... It's so much fucking revenue fucking on that game. game. <laughs> And it's dumb, because the original idea for Minecraft was not to make any money off of it. Yeah. Like, the creator, Noct, didn't want any money. You know that Minecraft is so fucking popular that they actually made an open source similar version, basically, of Minecraft? Yeah, but it's probably nowhere near as good. Like, I'll admit it. I enjoy Minecraft. It's got some good shit to it. Yeah. I'll probably get it at some point, but... Well, when you do, then we can mod the fuck out of it. Yeah. Although, I feel but... like we've played modded Minecraft together before. Maybe a be long wrong. time ago. Fine. Have you ever owned it before? No. Okay, so how did we play before? I don't know. Magic, I guess? <laughs> I guess. Did you just explode? Me? I watched you walk over here, and the next thing I know, you exploded on my screen. I'm still alive. I'm walking around. Yeah, I noticed. That's what threw me off. Okay, so I need two doors. Put 
one door there. I guess I should probably teach you exactly what we're doing. Yeah, because I have no fucking idea right now. <laughs> Alright, kind of so... Around. Obviously, this is a crafting bench. Okay. This is how you craft items. Well, I mean, more items, technically. What we currently need is a backdrop, which are called walls. What's that? So, if you have wood on you, you come over to this crafting table, you push escape, huh? and you can craft walls. Sorry, hold on, Dad. I couldn't hear what. No, but I'm think I was going to learn at some point. I don't, I don't know much web stuff. The, I mean, I don't really know any programming language. I just, I can learn it quickly depending on what it is. And I struggle with abstract object oriented design. So that stuff is difficult for me. But I could, as long as I don't need to do any heavy math in my, myself and try to try to translate it into code or algorithms or anything like that, I would, be, I would likely be fine. Sorry about that, Death. Go, go ahead. I don't even remember what I was talking about. You're talking about, you're teaching me about crafting and shit. Oh yeah, so that workbench, oh, I'm gonna have you craft even though we don't need it. It's torches. Oh, actually, no. Don't craft torches. Craft chairs and tables. How do I... Uh, I just use my sword. So you're gonna push escape to bring up your menu. Oh shit, okay. Yeah, I don't know why it's escape. Okay, watch up. And then if you look down below, mm -hmm. like to the left, I see I guess, wooden door, torch, and dirt wall, and stuff like that. We need chairs and tables. We respond with this shit ton of torches. Uh, I don't see any chairs or tables. I just see like wood platform, dirt wall, stuff like that. How much wood do you have? Uh, where's the wood? <laughs> Because the I have 97, chair, 97 wood in my inventory. The chairs and tables you should be able to craft. But I don't even see it, so it's... They're underneath the door. Underneath the, <coughs> the door. Is the, yeah, At no, least for me, they are. Oh, they are. I just don't see them. I don't see the... I see wooden chair and wooden door, but it's like there's no icon for it, so I can't even see it. It's just I'm Oh, that's weird. Like... I have to screenshot, but like you know how like you have like the icons where you can see them. I can't see it, so it's just that's weird. Oh no! Oh, I had to click down. Okay, never mind. Oh. So wooden table and wooden chair, right? Yeah, we're gonna need probably ten to start. So how do I craft it? You just left click it. Okay, wooden chair. That's one. And where do I put it? Uh. You're gonna hold on to them actually right now because I've got to finish making the rooms first. And I made, rooms have to be a certain size. I made three chairs and let's see, how do I. Uh, let's see. I can't make any. any of the other stuff, but. for whatever reason, but. It's fine. Okay, so I will craft. I don't remember this game being this difficult. Shit. Okay, so we need like three doors, which I already crafted. You've got uh, torches, right? Uh, torches, yes. Okay, so you're gonna put one in each corner of the building. Okay. Torches, each <laughs> corner of the building. So, like, maybe can I put it up there? Yeah, I can. Like that? Yeah. Try and make all of them roughly the same, you height, know, height. height. Watch out. Ow! The fuck? Someone's hit me. I think. And if you mess up on placing, if you do right click, it'll break it down and pick it up for you. I can't even get up there. It doesn't even work. There we go. Alright. Now you're going to place a table and chair in each these rooms except for the one way over here table I don't have any tables but I got chairs I've got three chairs That's right now okay I'll get the I'll get the tables 
Uh, they cost eight wood. I've got plenty. Oops. Fuck this. User interface shit. It's confusing. So you got. No, that, I thought that was a chair. What the fuck? No, those are tables. I got one. Bro, get away from me. <laughs> Creep. No, he's fine. It doesn't matter how the chairs are facing. What would I do? Uh, I don't have any more chairs. You threw it. I picked it up. Oh. Uh. God, this UI I'm just is OCD confusing. when it comes to chairs. Yeah. Actually, I'm pretty OCD when it comes to any of my buildings. Alright, so obviously, I feel like this is going to end up being the guide's room. I'm, I'm assuming all the creepy shit comes out at night, just like Minecraft. Oh, uh, you get zombies, you get the demon eyes that are flying around. And later on, we'll get like special kind of demon eyes as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, if you open your inventory, and I think it's on 9, at least that's where it was for me, you should see a grappling great hook. item called a grappling hook. Yep. If you right click it, it'll equip it to you, which at that point you can just push E to use it. Oh, watch that. And then that's, you just equip it and that's it. Yeah, and then you can push E to start using it that way. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> how, do I, how do I drop down? Space, there you go. Let's see. Giant bow. When did I get a giant bow? I must be getting, oh. like, less intellectual as I get older because, like, before when I played this game, like, it was so much easier to understand, and now I'm just like, what the fuck am I looking at? <laughs> hmm. I mean, to be fair, they also added a shit ton of different stuff. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> now they have Christmas stuff. And uh, now I don't know how... Okay, I found it. Okay, so, let's see. That one is already... Okay, so all of our housing rooms are currently able to be lived in. Yep. Okay, so, we can't make beds right now. Do we need to sleep and shit in this game, or what? No, it's basically how you uh, set your spawn. Oh, okay. Otherwise, you spawn right on me in the map, I guess. I mean, you'll spawn for the most part over in this general place regardless. Yeah. It's also a way of, uh... <clears throat> I guess manually saving your game. Yep. <clears throat> I figured I should get rid of the enemies out here while I can. Oh, thank god they got a zoom in this game. Fuck. That's what I, I do, do right there. Yeah, if you do settings menu, settings, it says UI scale and shit like that. God, it's gonna ah, be a lifesaver. Well, there you go. Uh, pa parallax? What is parallax? It says parallax 60%. I don't know what that means. I have no idea if it's in the settings. I don't ever fuck with them. Okay. Well, I'm gonna do. Uh, general UI scale. Fifty percent. There we go. Oh, so much nicer. And zoom. Oh, there you go. I literally zoom it. Oh, that's so much nicer. One hundred twenty percent will do. Fuck, this is such a lifesaver. Although it kind of uh, fucks with the UI a little bit, so I'm gonna actually get <laughs> doing it a little too much. I mean, it's I mean you could probably mess with the UI too. Yeah. That's perfect. Sorry, folks. I just am blind as fuck, even with the glasses, so I need to do this so I can see anything about what I'm doing. Oh, right. I didn't realize how popular Terraria was on Twitch. It's probably boring if you play by yourself, you know? No, I'm sure it is. But um, for the most part, what I see people doing is just boss arenas. 
Who is this, uh, Seth dude? Can I- how do I talk to him? Oh, he's the guide. You just right-click on him. Okay. He just... basically teaches you how to do things. That's what I need. You should stay indoors at night. It's very dangerous to be running around the dark. No shit. You got fucking, you know, robots and stuff. Uh... Let's see. What? How... There's robots? No, robbers. Sorry. You got people s stealing your shit and, you know, kidnapping and everything. Nah, you just gotta worry about zombies. Alright, getting this place to myself, I greatly appreciate it. I'm quite fond of wandering through the forest. I'd like it here. Okay, I don't give a fuck about you, mate. <laughs> uh, crafting. Oh. Okay. Help. Underground are crystal hearts, which can be used to increase your max life. You can smash them with the pickaxe. Watch out. There's no PvP in this, is there? There is, I just have it disabled. How do you disable it? Uh, basically you just make sure you don't join a team. Like, if you open your menu, there's this, uh... Picture of two swords. I don't see that anywhere. It's what? on the right side of your inventory, the oh. far right. Oh, I see it. Is it... If it's crossed, then it's enabled. If it's, you know, side by side, it's disabled. Okay, watch that. Like, say you enable PvP, you can run at me and attack me all you want, as long as I don't have it enabled, you can't hurt me. Watch out. <coughs> Let's nice. see. So I've got more stuff, I should probably make some armor. You should probably do the Ow. same. Fuck. <sighs> nah, stars are good. There, I have armor. I need. The zombies weapon. have torches. What the fuck? Do they? Yeah, oh, look. Shit, they do. That's a new thing. Okay, so I'm gonna give you that one I... because I don't like that. Are they damaging our place or what are they doing? Nah, they're fine. They can't actually hurt it. But luckily enough, man, my iron sword is better than my wood sword. I mean, Damn, you wrecked sense. those assholes. And that's with the base weapon, too. But it has nine melee damage trees. It's got a buff to it. Let's see. I'm trying to figure out what else we need right now. Are these bats flying around? Are they are they friendly, or...? Where? Like, right around you. There's a bat flying around, Blue. Oh, you, you mean that thing on my head? Yeah, what is that? You've got one too, it's a bird. What a fallen they stars They actually for. fight for us. They're oh. summons. So if you look at uh, item 5. Oh, yep. It should say something like Staff of the Finch or some yeah. shit. Yeah. yeah, that's what gives you the bird. As long as it's on your, uh, hot bar. your attack bar, yeah, hot bar, whatever you want to call it you have access to it. So what are the basic controls as far as like inventory and shit? Like, you know, dropping inventory, you know, equipping inventory. So, tab is to open the map. Watch out. Escape is your inventory and literally everything else. Yep. And then you just push uh, left click to grab items out of your, your inventory, right click to use them. Okay, left click to drop them. Uh, if you drop them, you just drag them off screen and right click or not off screen but off inventory like I just gave you candy cane blocks or if you don't want to take the time to do that you can take them and drag them in the trash can in your inventory to delete them let, let me let me let me see if I can do this so if I do this no that doesn't do it if I right click that drops it right yeah but okay. you just threw your heavy wooden sword that I gave you back oh there okay. you go thanks I mean, not that you need it, because your iron sword's probably stronger. I got an achievement for surviving the first night, that's dope. Well, there you go. I did not, because I already have that achievement. Now, I've got to find some more... Where'd you materials go? for Fuck. us. I walked out to the left. Yeah, but, like, you must, like, light speed or something? Where the fuck do you go? 
No, I just walked. If you walk, you'll see me. Okay. I'm in a tunnel right now. I'm placing torches in this tunnel to hopefully find some better gear. Well, not really better gear, but like more shit to mine. I still don't see you, but okay. Which way did you go out? Left. Oh, keep going. You didn't go far enough. Still? I'm in that tunnel that you're walking up on. Oh. I've got slime sh chasing me. See? I still don't see you. Oh, there you are. Yeah, it's best to go exploring when you can. In the daytime, right? Yeah. Like, you can explore in the night, but... This is dangerous. Yeah. And we aren't set up for that yet. How do I open this? <coughs> uh, the thing that I went through, you actually just pushed down on. Oh, dope. How can you see? <laughs> because I am placing torches oh, every chance nice. I get. Oh, you got a fucking house over here. That's dope. I mean, I wouldn't call it a house, exactly. It but it's got a fucking abandoned. piano in it. Yeah, but it's abandoned. So, it's still a house. Now, granted, we can use these cobwebs, so... Oh, one of my favorite things to do... What? What's that? <laughs> Ride the train! <laughs> hey, you got water. Nice. Do you, do you have, uh, like, drowning and shit in this? Yes. Okay. There's items that you can get that'll prevent you from drowning, basically allow you to breathe in the water. I don't remember how to get off it. Yeah, I can't tell either. I think it's just right clicking. I try. Oh god, I can't see anything. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to place a torch, but. Kind of struggling. There we go. Now I've got to figure out how to get off this thing. <laughs> I can't know I don't know all that. Oh, it's E, apparently, but then you have to get off the grapple. Okay, so we've got water here, which can be an issue. Especially when we're trying to mine this iron right underneath me. Oh, there's so much shit. And that's why I'm currently draining it, by the way. By doing what? Oh. I'm digging a hole. That should be good. What if you do if you get like stuck in a chasm, like how do you get out? Grapple, I would assume? Uh, uh, if you have a grapple, yes. If you don't, then a lot of people will build wood platforms to climb out. Yeah. Which wood platforms are the things that we went through earlier. Yeah. Alright, nothing else useful in there. Is it possible for me to have a torch out? Like, while riding or whatever? I mean, if you hold shift, yeah. Oh, okay, that's what that does. Yeah, that's how I keep running around with the torch out. Oh, the demolitionist arrived. That's nice. I almost got crushed by a boulder. The wings are also helpful for getting out of situations like that. Yeah. How do you use wings? There's a jellyfish. You just jump and hold space. Oh, cool. I didn't realize you could eat. I thought they were just cosmetic. Nope. I'm sorry. They also, if you like, run out of the ability to fly and you hold space more, it'll slow fall. Which will prevent you from taking falling damage. Yep. Oh, we got a worm Ow. coming. the fuck is that? It's a worm. Ow! You bitch. <clears throat> How, how do you know where the worm's gonna hit? You look for the dirt. 
Oh, the dirt. If you use, if you keep a torch, a torch out, you'll be able to see it. I keep having to put my torches away so that I can attack. So it's generally helpful to have one person that just walks around with the torch if you have more than one person. Yeah. Are you stuck over there? Nope. Oh, here comes the slime. Ooh, silver ore. That's good. We need that. Although I don't know how close I'm getting to the water above me. So, ore is obviously one of the key things that we need. And some of it can be real difficult to find. Some of it you can only find in specific locations. Oh, well, the birds got them. Onward! Oh, more stuff. Oh, it's just iron. Although it would be good to get some iron armor for us. You gonna be good down there on your own? Yes, sir. Alright. There we go, that location's done. It's not nice to hit people, slime. You know, as I proceed to just murder him. Right, these, these trains are quick. I don't know how quick they are. Oh yeah, only if you hold on to it. Like, if you hold forward, you'll go faster. Yeah, I know. But if you let go of forward, then you don't go as fast. I don't, I, In fact, you can control the speed. Uh, yeah, I noticed there's no, like, um, physics much. Oh, I mean, it is a two-dimensional game, sir. Yeah, I know. But it's a fun two-dimensional game. Death, I'm scared, I'm by myself. <laughs> That's okay, I'm just above you somewhere. I got like a yellow thing coming at me, what is that? It's probably a slime. Yeah, okay. Can I attack in the- oh shit. I mean, you can fight them. They're not hard. Oh hey, this path up here leads to out. Well, that's good to know. Now we have a way out, which is always good. Oh, it has copper bars. Nice. The wand is sparking. Interesting. Okay, so we got some pretty good stuff in this chest up here that I found. I'm also taking the chest. <laughs> I got up here. Alright. But I'm trying to... Yeah, grapple works great for that. Grapple and then use your wings as well. Oh, I forgot about the wings. Because obviously the grapple only reaches so far. Yeah. Ooh, what is that? What type of ore is this? Oh, it's just iron. Well, you never know. I don't need more iron. Hey, it's raining. Yep, and now we have a chance to get an umbrella from an umbrella slime. Which we did. Nah, that's actually just a death uh, animation for that one. Uh, I just threw a bunch of torches on trees for some reason. <laughs> okay, so we got Humphrey. Who has an anvil, so we can buy the anvil and place that. Does the grapple He's actually do a... damage? Uh, no. Okay. At least not that I'm aware of. Sell my bomb, sell the lemon. What is that thing? Goldfish. Hello. 
Oh yeah, if you uh go out on a blood moon, they become evil. What happens if it's you? It's actually pretty funny. <laughs> I killed it. <sighs> yeah, that's it, a fun thing to do too. It didn't do anything. I thought it would drop loot or something. Nah, they're pretty useless. You can end up catching them. Yep. There's a pet as well. Yeah. Okay, so the only useful thing from that vendor that I got was an anvil. But on the bright side, that allows us to craft more things. I try and keep, for the most part, all of the uh, craftable items together. Yeah. So anything that's going to allow us to craft more things, I try and keep them with each other. I just got a flame mace. Okay, so we need a furnace. What's your strongest weapon? How much damage does it do? Um... My strongest weapon. Uh, I don't know how to tell what my strongest weapon is. You just hover over it with your inventory open and it'll tell uh, you the damage. Eight, six, five, seven, eight. Uh, it's probably the short sword. Which does how much? Eight. Melee and fork critical strike. Okay, let's see if I got you something better. Here, have a yo yo. Uh, okay. See. It has more damage, or at least it should. Right, I'll put it. What do I. Okay, I'll just replace something else. Yeah, it's just like a regular weapon. You just put it on your hotbar and you can use it. Let's see. There's chain that we don't need. Toilet, bathtub, trash can, glass killin. Use your special crafting, so we're going to need that. Oh yeah, yeah, nice. Got, got another. How much thing. shit did I get? Well, we were down there. Okay, well on the bright side, we got plenty of items. Still no ability to make a bed though. But that's okay. I've got to dig out the floor somewhere. The guy right here. Bunnies have less health than goldfish. That's weird. Do they really? Yeah. Uh, uh, goldfish apparently had nine, if I remember correctly, and then the bunny had five. Huh. It's kind of opposite, but whatever. I probably should have dug this somewhere What are you else, doing? Why, <laughs> why did you dig a hole? You'll see. I have a habit of having a separate area for where I store treasure chests and things like that. Yeah. To make it easier. So that's currently what I'm doing is digging out a hole for a treasure area. Oh, surprisingly, digging out that hole didn't mess with the NPC's area. Kind of expected it to. Norcus. Hello, mate. Check out my goods, they have explosive prices. I, I, no, I don't care. Actually, explosives are fun, but also dangerous. Yeah, uh, no, 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 because that's new bombs. Like, okay, so he's, uh, so he has like, he's, he's like a shop, right? Let's see. I've got a text message. How is a bomb and dynamite consumable? What the fuck? Because they explode. I know, but like, uh, with consumable, it uh, implies that you eat it or something. No, consumable in any game actually means something that's used up off after the use. Basically means a one-time use item. Yeah. And generally referring to, yes, food and shit, but not in this. Or Who, really in many MMOs, actually. This Humphrey dude is like, uh, uh, um, talking about Cthulhu or some shit like that. Yeah, he talks about the bosses and stuff. Uh, like, how are all these people finding us? 
Well, they're just NPCs, so they generally just travel around the world. Yeah. Need a light. <laughs> I mean, not really. You want to do the other side, all the way to the end of the house? You never know how many treasure chests you're gonna need. What am I supposed to use for this? Pick X. I have an iron axe. Does that work? Yeah, it does. Eh, it's the same thing. Oh no, that's an axe axe. You need a pickaxe. You know, the other One of these. form of an axe. Yeah, that. I love how I just call it the other form of an axe. How do, how do I do how do I do more damage? I'm doing like a block at a time. Oh yeah, you're going to. Oh. The only way you can do more than one block at a time is with cheats and well, not entirely true. Or with explosives. I'm not but gonna do that because at the same time if the... you get if you get um yeah, I can fuck up the digging. If you get other pickaxes because there's, you know, higher tiers. They yeah. dig faster, which makes it a lot quicker. Yeah. There you go. There. Oh, I should probably you should make reinforce sure that... You should reinforce this. There, there you go. I mean, not that the reinforcing actually does anything. I'm not going to do the floor because we might end up digging it out more later. Watch it. Because it never hurts to have space. Right. So that chest right there is going to be for anything like building materials. So dirt blocks, wood, any of that shit. Yep. I'm not going to bother labeling all of them right now. So to open it is right click, right? Uh, yeah. I don't know if you can right click it at the same time as somebody else. No, it doesn't. Never open. tried. It doesn't open anything. Okay. So you, you'll just have to wait till I get done putting things in here. The main reason we keep a chest or a multiple chest generally is to make life easier. So we don't have to, you know, constantly empty our inventory to loot more stuff. Yeah. I'm not, I don't care about organization when it comes to chests because I generally don't go into them, but I prefer them to have the same types of items. Yeah. So like obviously this gold one over here, I'm putting potions and shit in it. At some point I'll have a chest that we can store our um, ores and shit. There's an owl on our roof. There's two. Oh yeah, I see that. I'm cutting the grass. <laughs> Why? They're nice. Uh, because they'll grow back and I have a flaming mace that does it for me. <laughs> I just have to hold it and it'll swing you around. Ben, hit me with that thing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine the game? By this, it does 18 damage per hit. That would just kill me, probably. And you know it's great? What? It also lights the way. <laughs> oh, yeah, I it just is. murdered an owl. Die, bunny. It's just minus own business. <laughs> I mean, he got in the way. <laughs> if he gets in the way, he's got to die. Just how the world works. <laughs> oh look, zombies! I'm gonna smack him with a mace. He tried to run away. I'm currently searching for a boss. <clears throat> That's the only reason I'm out here currently during the night. Yeah. As bosses can only be fought during the night for some fucking reason. Although I guess at the same time it makes sense because bosses can also randomly spawn after a certain point in the game. Yeah. 
even ones that you've already killed, but they're generally like stronger variants. So at that point, you've got to worry about that. Yeah. I wish I had better wings. These wings suck. But you know what? I'll take them. They were free. <laughs> and wings are generally a pain in the ass to get. Yeah. Yo, ironic how easy just swinging a mace tears through everything. Hey, I got another star. By the way, the fallen stars are used for creating magic. Okay. You do magic in this game? Yeah. Oh, Summons dirt. actually count as a type of magic. That's why if you look to the right without the inventory, you can see uh the blue star. Yeah. That's from magic. Oh, nice. I'm assuming you can do magic in Minecraft and shit, right? Uh, only if you have a mod, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, probably. But, like, base Minecraft, you cannot. At least not that I'm aware of. I honestly enjoy modded Minecraft. It's rather fun. Back beasts. There's just so many of them. Excuse me. There's also items you can get that allow you to walk on water. Ow. Oh shit. You good? There's a whole bunch of enemies. Oh fuck, Where'd they're all coming go? after me. I'm trying to find you, but all, all these enemies oh, are coming. Oh, I'm way to the right. Yeah, I can see that. I only have two bars of health left. There's a reason I came out exploring. I have better weapons. <laughs> I mean, granted, I crafted this one off of the mace that I found in that cave. But was... even this weapon's not strong enough to fight one of the bosses. Well, how am I supposed to heal? Uh, if you go back into the house and craft a fireplace, those are uh, auto healers. Okay. Or you can attempt to kill enemies and get hearts from them. I mean, granted, that one doesn't work very often. Hearts can be rather difficult to obtain from enemies. You also heal over time, by the way. It's just very slow. Yeah, I noticed that. How do I heal with the fireplace? You just stand next to it. You'll see a buff that it gives you. I don't see anything. Under your uh, hot bar. Yeah, I don't see anything. Is it a fireplace? Do we do we even have a fireplace in a... In a... No, we got a craft one. Oh, okay. They're, they aren't hard to craft, though, so... And we have everything we need to be able to craft it. I have walked through the snow biome the desert, the corrupted, and now back to the desert. You're All the desert. trying to find a single boss. I mean, to be fair, there's also oceans. You can also go to hell. Uh. I'm assuming the backdrop changes too. Yeah. Here's more corrupted. Corrupted enemies are also stronger, by the way. Mm -hmm. And they have things that are basically like blackberry bushes that if you walk into them, they hurt. That's just the easiest way I could explain it is bushes with thorns. And blackberry was the first one to pop in my head. Hey, I found another chest. Anything good in here? A lot of potions. Got some glow sticks, an herb bag. 
sir, no one said you could come up here and bother me. I had an enemy just try and walk up on me like nothing was going on. <laughs> Uh, sunflowers would probably be a good idea to bring back to the base. There are no enemies in the daytime, right? I mean, there are. They're just like slimes and shit. Depending on where you are, that is. If you go to Corrupted, you'll still have Corrupted enemies. Alright, I'm gonna go out and try to find you. Well, you'll be going to the right for a pretty long time. We're in a uh, large world, so... <laughs> You can change the world size. If you open size. your map, yeah. If you open your map with M, you can see how far over I am. I don't see you anywhere on the map. You've got to hit M and then drag it. Let's see. Hey, I found the boss. I don't see you anywhere. How much of the light or lit area do you see? Um. Basically, a little bit past the house, like in both sides. Oh, nothing else is lit for you? Nope. Oh. Well, open your inventory and switch to red team. Red switch team? Switch to shields. Shields, shields, shields. To the right okay. of your inventory. I gotta look. Uh. So, it's basically right underneath the shield, uh, swords. Oh, okay. Ow, something hit me. Fuck. This is a weapon. <laughs> I found a weapon. It's an umbrella. Is that what? That's how you do it. Now, if you look at the map, you should effectively be able to see me. No, I just see this, you know. <laughs> uh, so open your big map, the M, after you get inside, obviously. Yeah. That way you're safer. And you're just gonna, like, drag to the right, fr uh, from right to left, all the way up until you see my name. I mean, I'm close to the end of the map. So if you end up running into the edge oh, of the I map, see. What you the went fuck? too far. <laughs> yeah, that's where I am. That's also where the boss is. The first boss that we fight. Before all the others will start, you know, coming out. We get some interesting stuff over here too, so. I'm gonna see what I can find. As I cut my way through a living tree. By the way, you will find trees, like the one that I'm going through currently, that yeah. you have to cut down with the pickaxe. And that's only that way because of the fact that they're not actually trees, they're like dirt that's formed into a tree. Yeah. Well, on the bright side, I've got plenty of loot to share with you when I get back to base. I just kind of raided the boss's tomb for a little bit. Let's see where you are now. I, I like oh no, you're no longer on the red team apparently. No, I can still see you. I know, but now I can't teleport to you. Oh, okay, I'll switch. It's easier just to stay on the teams because that way, you know, say I'm way the fuck out here like I am, I can do that, and now I'm back. How'd you do that? Oh, you just double click my name or something? No, I just open the map and click on you. It gives me an option to teleport. But that's probably because I have potions for it, I'm not sure. Were you always on the red team? No, I just switched to it when I was trying to help you find me. Is that why I also I brought... Is that why More I couldn't chess. see your name or anything before? Maybe. I'm not let me, sure. Let me test that. Yeah, I can't. If I'm not, not in a party, I can't see your name. And if I'm on a. Oh. Ah. Okay, if, well, I brought back some gear with me. So here, have an umbrella. It does more damage than anything you have, apparently. Okay. I can't see your name. 
uh, either. Like if I am on a different team, so that's fine. Yeah. And if you would prefer ranged weapons, I also have a ranged weapon. Okay. I yeah. don't know what type of weapon you would prefer using. Something that's a little bit more ranged. Oh, well, here, have a staff. Uh, do I just pick it up or where is it? I threw them at you, so basically you already have them. Alright, watch out. Staff. Where's that? The Wand of Sparking? Is that what that is? Yeah. Uh, it's uh, magic damage, so it, it takes away the magic, right? Yeah, but your magic recharges faster. What happens if you lose your magic damage completely? Does it just not do any damage? What, like the your mana? Yeah. Oh no, it, it just basically doesn't work until it recharges. But does it do like melee damage? No, it just doesn't do anything until it recharges. Okay. But I mean, it should tell you how much mana it uses per use. Like my uh, two mana. Intense fence staff uses eleven. Yeah. Let's see. We're gonna make this chest the one I'm on for ore. Okay, watch out. Oh, I see. Let's see. Do I have anything else to stick in here? Nope. We've got more potions stuff that need to go in the gold chest. Iron skin potion, that's also a potion. I've got so many different items I've got to stash away. <coughs> hmm. Um that should be good. That one's for ore. I haven't put anything in this one yet. So we'll make this one for seeds. And other plant-like things, I guess. I try and... The only reason I try and keep the chests, for the most part, organized with the same type of items is it just makes it easier. Yeah. I generally have one chest at the end of, you know, sorting through all my stuff. That's nothing but junk items. Yeah. The main issue is figuring out which ones belong where. But, I mean, that's a plant-based item, so we'll leave that there. Let's see. Oh, hey, it's Pinky. So, Pinky is generally an achievement enemy. Yeah. And can generally drop some good stuff. Like, that one just dropped me one gold. Nice. This is rather nice. I like gold. Is there anything I can craft? I can craft star in a bottle. Nothing. All right, so let me get back up here. <laughs> I don't know what. If you can. All right, so you see that uh, little lantern I just placed? Yep. That's a star in the bottle, so if you look over by where your buffs are, yeah. these give increased mana regen when you're near them. Okay. So that should do some good when you use spells. Yeah. Let's see, what else can I craft? Anything else useful? I can craft bouncing glow sticks. But other than that, no, nothing useful. Are you saving your server or what are you doing? Uh, no, I was seeing if, her, if I could craft anything. Yeah. The server will auto save. We should probably actually explore this way. Yeah, watch out.
You must not have auto door open on. Uh, auto, auto door open, yeah I do. Oh, it's, to me it looks like you're just running into the doors. Nope, that's gotta be a bug because, you know, I just, the doors are automatically open if I go near them. I mean, it's probably actually lagged then. My computer has an update. Again, I just don't want to deal with it right now. Hey, the so the backdrop changed. Nice. Oh, you'll see a lot of different backdrops. Some of them are really nice. Some of them are just like, eh. They even have uh, fucking islands in the clouds and shit. That That's you dope. can go loot. I'm going to have to be able to get to them to loot them. Ow. Watch out for the giant cliff, like, 690 feet in front of you. What cliff? I don't see a cliff, but... Well, that's because it's 600-something feet in front of you. Uh, did you I'm go down the... the desert. Did you go down the no, hole? No, I'm... No, I'm uh, up top. Oh, you're up top, so I need to, like... I mean, I found a hole in the desert that I'm exploring real, real quick, but there's nothing good in here. So you went up, up the mountain, basically. Yep. For the most part, I'll explore the top generally before anything else, because that's generally where most of the ore that you're going to need early on is going to be. Yep. So the cliff you're talking about, I'm assuming it just kills you. No, it's just a drop. Yeah. And if you take too much damage from falling, then yeah, it'll kill you. Yeah. It's already becoming dark. <laughs> yeah, it'll be fine. Probably should wait for you to catch up to me before continuing. As I continue the run forward. Yeah. Oh, I see the cliff. Yep. I can see you just slowly approaching on the map. Yep. I wonder. If you open the map, can you just teleport to me? Yeah, I was no. just wondering that. Right. Nope, I can't. And it's probably an item that I have. Or maybe I just need to it. I just need to know what the map looks like. <laughs> no, I think it's an item because I have uh, wormhole potions that allow me to teleport to party members. So yeah, it has to be an item. Well, you're almost here, so it'll be fine. Yeah. And I gave you some better gear, so you should really be fine. Yeah. Oh, huh, well, that's a new item. I've got an item called a scarab bomb. Oh, you have a vulture friend that the birds just proceed to murder. No, he looks like an enemy. Yeah, he was a vulture. Yeah. I just felt like calling him your friend, even though he was trying to eat you. <laughs> It'd be nice if I didn't have to jump up these mountains. Yeah. I figure at some point we'll probably start looking for uh, crystal hearts to increase our max HP. Yeah. But we want to finish exploring the top first. Because we'll only find those down below. You can choose to either go above or below. 
it ends up the same way. Okay. Ow. I only came down here to get some stuff from this chest. And, you know, take the chest, too. <laughs> yeah. There's also copper ore in here, so... Might as well take that while we're here as well. Finally I caught up to you. It only took you long enough. Yeah. Oh, he did. <laughs> I prefer the medium to long range weapons like this just because yeah. one, I can keep it swinging around me and I can't be hurt because of it unless it doesn't knock him back. How do you keep uh, attacking? You just hold. Right. Yep. It depends on the weapon as well. Yeah. Like, obviously, some weapons don't do it. This is one of the few weapons that you can actually throw like this and then just click again to make it stay there. Yeah. Which does damage as well. That's pretty dope. I prefer this one mainly because it produces light when I'm not in water. Yep. Just automatically, even if you don't. Yeah, because it's a fire mace. Yep. So, you know, as long as it doesn't hit deep water that submerges me, then it produces light for us. There's a lot of zombies and stuff coming at us in this jungle. It's probably me, because I'm a noob. Nah, there's just a lot of enemies in general during the night. Yep. That's a piranha. <laughs> now granted, most air units can't attack you if you're in the water. But yeah. obviously that doesn't protect you against piranhas and shit like that. Yeah. Can't see shit. <laughs> Ow, something hit me from behind. Here, I'll make it easy. What? Oh. I used the potion that makes me light. So basically, as long as you're near me, you have a source of light. Yep. I wanna go up there. Well, I guess I should probably check if uh, this cuts through first. Yep. It does, awesome. By the way, if you eat a mushroom or something, that'll heal you. Okay. I forgot about those. Oh, I can give you that, actually. It also increases your damage. Nice. There you go. Have Thanks. that. You gotta make sure you equip it, though, when you get a chance. Yep. And that one goes on your actual equip bar, which is to the right, where your armor and shit is. Okay. Ooh, now I can also detect enemies when they're near us. Oops. <laughs> Seeing if I have anything else useful on me. Got more critical chance, so I'll take that. That's a healing potion you said, right? Anything that you can eat. So mushrooms also work. If you don't have mushrooms, I've got plenty. Okay. Now mind you, uh, items that heal have cooldowns. But so they also, are they, are they infinite or just cooldown? Uh, no, they, you use them every use, but they, uh, 
mushrooms, like the ones I gave you, yeah. are super fucking common, so you don't really have to worry too much about that. Yeah. There's also a way that you can make a mushroom farm that will just constantly produce more for you. Yeah. That's nice. Now, granted, I was never good at making mushroom farms. Although, I never really put forth effort to do it either. That one's gonna be a bit difficult to get up. Oh, hey, look, it's one of the trees I was talking about. What do you mean? You have to use a pickaxe to get through. Oh. But on the bright side, there's stuff in here. You know, I'll let you take everything in that chest. It'll be more useful for you currently. Okay. Make sure you take the chest, too. Take the chest? What do you mean, take the chest? Pickaxe it till it breaks. Oh, okay. Oh, pickaxe it. Okay. Yeah. Let's see, anything useful over here? What does that do? Doing a pickaxe on it. It breaks it so you can pick it up. And why would Which, you want. Because it gives us access to have the chest in our base. Oh, yeah. Oh, it must be becoming daytime already. If why? the zombies are running away. That sounded not too pleasant. Yeah, it was, it was alright. <laughs> I looked about up changed again. To what I can't tell. Oh, there you go. Um, this is another one. It's corrupted. Or is this one wither? I can never remember. I guess it depends on what. Okay, so these are chimeras. Okay, so this is the corrupted. I honestly prefer the corrupted over the wither. Yeah, the monsters, right? Well, that and the wither spreads a lot quicker. Like, you can stop the spread of the corruption. Oh, it's... But it can be an issue. So it actually corrupts everything? Yeah, it'll just spread across the map at over a period of time. Now, granted, it can't go over gaps and shit, so if you have a gap all the way down to hell, it just kind of stops there. Yeah. I'm assuming hell is all the way at the bottom of the map. Yeah. There's actually a thing that people made called a elevator. Yeah. Which is basically a straight line down with water at the end to prevent you from taking fall damage. Yep. Yeah. Now granted, if you can get an item called an obsidian horseshoe, that doesn't matter because not only are you immune to lava, you're also immune to fall damage. Yeah. One of so, the few items that take forever to find. I'm assuming all that shit is like, uh, there's hell in every single map. Just all the way at the bottom. Yeah. And there's also a boss for hell called the uh, Wall of Flesh. Yeah. And he's generally a pain in the ass, because if you're in hell, you can't avoid his attacks. You just have to kill him. Yeah. Because he takes up the entire fucking map. Yeah. It looks like you're from behind, sir. Are you still in the wither- or corrupted over there? Oh no, you're out of the corrupted. Now you just gotta get over the giant water. What was that? There's water in front of you that you've gotta get over now. Oh, I can do it, watch. <laughs> I mean, you might wanna heal as well once you oh, get God. out of the water. Yeah. Did something start eating you? Yep, and there's like wind or something. Oh, yeah, it's just a sandstorm. You'll be fine. Oh, it's a goblin. Oh, no. 
I didn't see anything about a goblin invasion. I'm almost to you. <laughs> this goblin's trying so hard. And now he's dead. So I'm assuming the red parts is the corrupted areas? Yeah. Wither is like a gray area. Wither? Yeah, it's basically the same thing as corrupted, just gray. Yeah. And different enemies and shit. They also have different bosses. So is this corrupted or wither? This one's corrupted. Okay, so there's, there's a different type of corrupted, okay. Yeah. I've got to see what I can get rid of in my inventory. You got some crabs or something. I mean, I've also got a, a flaming mace to smack him in the face with. Yep. It does great wonders. Now, who wants to get hit in the face by a giant flaming spike ball? Yep. We've got two, three enemies near us currently. Four enemies after I killed one. Two again. I can see enemies, by the way. Yep. Hey, the traveling merchant came. Don't know who that is. He generally randomly shows up and has some good shit with him. Oh, looks like we found the ocean. Oh, what the fuck do shell piles do? That's a new item as well. Sir, you seem to be struggling down there. I'm getting some race attacks and trying to they're all coming after me for whatever reason. It's okay, we, we, we reached our destination, so... What are we even looking for? We were exploring the rest of the map, which over here is just the ocean, which is the end of the map. Yeah. One of the great things about this weapon, I can just sit here with it in front of me and it can't touch me. Yeah. Except for, you know, the flyers. We can just go right over, right over it. <laughs> that was beautiful. This is so cheating. <laughs> Ow, the flyers can still hit me. What weapon is that? I just shit a little damage. It's just a flaming mace. How do you get one? Uh, I had a mace from a chest, and then I ended up crafting it. Mm. Uh, you should have a mirror in your inventory. Go ahead and use that. A mirror, okay. Let's see. Yeah, I do. Yeah, go ahead and use that while I put them off. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? So it put me back. Uh -huh. So yeah, that was the point was for us to get back here. I mean, you can use it infinitely, I guess. Yep. One of the better items. Let's see. Quick stack. Quick stack. If you have any items that are already in the chest, oops. I got the items from that chest. I don't know what it is, but, but items from the chest that I picked up. Oh, yeah. Uh, so what I'm getting at is if you have, you know, items such as plant-based items or things like that, and you go over to the chest that I'm currently in, yeah, there's a button that says uh, quick stack. If you click that, any items that you have that are in the chest it will automatically be put on top of those ones. Okay, so just do that quick stash. in here. Yeah. Just basically do it for every single one, 
until your inventory is, I guess, acceptable. You know, where you have space. And then do it with each each one? Yeah. That way you have space. And then anything that's left over that you feel like you need the stash will go in this wooden chest on the other side of the uh, gold one. I've got to finish putting any plant-based ones in this chest because I accidentally took everything out. So everything else I just put in this the one on the right? If it's something that doesn't belong in any of the others, yeah. Well, I just did quick stock for each one, so... Yeah, so if it didn't, you know, transfer anything... Yeah. Then, yeah, you just put it all in here. I'm still currently moving... Just right-click uh, or left-click? ...other click? items. No, there's a uh, button that you just uh, hit deposit all. Okay. Oh, I see. That's nice. Because obviously, with things having specific homes, it makes it easier to organize. How do you how do you like organize it? Like how do you tell it what goes in where? You have to do it manually. Oh. That's why like I have that gold chest with all the potions. Um, this radar that you put in the chest over here yep. that I just threw at you needs to be equipped. What is that for? It allows you to see enemies. This also needs to be equipped. Uh, let's see. The depth meter you don't really need, but you might as well. It gives you increased speed. Uh, but other than that, yeah, everything else can stay. I've got to put this in here. And deposit all, because I have a bunch of useless shit on me. These need to go in those ranged weapon. So what what kind of weapons and stuff are better? Like, what's the color coding? There is... Oh, well, I guess there is, technically. But technically, the colors don't actually mean that they're a higher rarity or anything. You just have to look at the stat. So, that's what the colors do, is it just basically says, Hey, this one's a good weapon. It gives certain, uh, certain stats, like my Forceful Flaming Mace. Yep. Forceful is the tier. It gives me 15% 15 plus, uh, 15% knockback. Uh -huh. So that should make it a bit easier to understand when it comes to that shit. I actually have more ranged weapons I gotta throw. I keep forgetting which chest it is, so I keep having to find it. There we go. And I don't think we got anything in that run that allows us to craft anything useful. Yeah. I mean, other than that, how's your ma your magic weapon doing? Do you enjoy it? Which one? The staff I gave you. What's it called? <clears throat> sparking yeah, something. Sparking. Uh. Do I even have it with me right now? What the fuck. Okay, Should be I here. didn't see it down here in any of these chests, so. It uh, should be on your hot bar. Deadly Finch Staff, is that that one? No, the other one. Oh, it is in here. The demonic wand is sparking that does 16 damage. I just gave it back to you. Okay. So, those blue stars I gave you, by the way, if you use them, they will increase your magic use. So, like, you'll have more blue stars. So, do I do that now? I would. Okay. Just left click. Yeah. And just, now you should see two stars over there. Just use them all or what? I mean, you can. I have no use for them. I'm not a magic user.
And that should give you a decent amount of magic as well. Yeah, it does. Oh, the traveling merchant's still here. Do not eat the vile mushroom. Can be placed. Okay. How do you oh, eat I shit? I don't think I care. Versus... Increased tile placement speed. That one might be useful. How the fuck did I get more torches? There's torches all over the place. Yeah. Uh... Press... I don't even know what that does. Automatically places a curated on placed objects. Diamond ring. Oh, that's just a cosmetic item. Oh, look, we can dress you up in a pretty pink dress. <laughs> the traveling merchant is selling a pretty pink dress. Well, we should probably work on building up the base a bit more now that we're getting NPCs in. Yeah. So what, let's. What, what is the difference between the brisk death meter and the spike death meter? Is spiked better? Uh, if it has different stats. Yeah. And whichever one has the better stats for your build is the one you're gonna want to go for. If you plan on being a mage, mage, then you're gonna want anything that can, you know, help you survive or do more damage with magic. Watch it. Those are your primaries. Hey, a hot air balloon, nice. Oh, did you see one? Yep, there's one on the top right of the screen. Yeah, they'll come and go. Oh, the radar? You can just go through the roof. The radar and stuff works automatically? Yeah, as on. long as you have it equipped, it should automatically sh uh, show stuff over by your health. That's dope. It's also rather convenient. Yep. Um, do me a favor. What? Go down into the chests and pull out the backdrops that I have. Backdrops, okay. They're uh, called wall. Should be wooden wall. Oh, there's the fireplace. Yeah, I just placed it. I made sure that you didn't do it before before I placed it. You wanted what again? The walls. It should, should, call, it should be in the first one. It should okay. be called wooden walls. Wood wall. So, um, just put it in my inventory and then give it to you? Yeah, you're just going to bring them up here to me. I'm having trouble deciding how I want this to be set up. You can come to this hole that I have. Yep. That's actually what this is for, is to get up here. So do I just... How do I do You're this? You're just gonna drop them at me. Okay. And then I've got another job for you. Did that work? Yeah. So your other job is going to be you see how i have these placed up here yeah your job is going to be to make sure that they're all lined up because if they're not it's going to throw everything off yeah because i am very particular about you know my buildings yeah even though they all get built the same exact way And I'll be working on the next floor as well. Uh, so far they are uh, lined up. Okay, so here's your next job. It is to come up here and you'll, you'll see a gap that's about the form. You're just basically going to take those things. Did I not give them to you? I did not. You're going to take these and place them where the gap is. So that I can continue building across. Obviously, make sure it's lined up. Yeah. What if gap? If you need another one, just say. Oh. What gap are you talking about? I don't see any gaps. The one above me. Oh. Oh, that's lined up. Okay. So you're gonna put the exact same amount, so it's three, yep. across, and then I'm gonna continue the wall. 
So, okay, three, three what, uh, wooden platforms or whatever? Yeah. And so we can get to the next floor. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Get rid of those real quick. Um, so where do you want me to place them? Right above the other ones. Okay. Oh, over the... The are connected to the top. Yeah. The only one we don't do that with is the uh, final one, obviously. Yeah. So you want me to put because... the walls like up top, like above me? I don't know. This is too high, actually. So give me a second. I've got to actually fix it. Uh, this is the part that I hate doing, is fixing it when it's not built the way I wanted it. Yeah. Because now I've got to basically tear all of this down and redo it. So roughly, let's see, the easiest way to do this. You can use the ruler. I noticed There's that. There's a ruler? Yeah, just, uh, uh, open your inventory on the left of your inventory. You'll see ruler offer on, just click that, and you, you can, like, actually check how many blocks. Man, there's so much new shit. I didn't know that was new, but... Four by seven. That's an eight. Oh, so the ruler doesn't work very well for what I need, actually. Mm. Oh, I guess it probably would if I was on the floor down here. Okay, so one by six. Okay. So this needs to be torn down by one. There we go. Oh, actually, I guess it didn't because now this is supposed to be the top. Yeah. Okay, door will go there. Okay. So I need you to go and put those platforms right there so that I can continue that portion. Granted, I could just do it this way. It just takes longer. Platform. Oh, you mean the next to you? The wood platforms. Yeah, but where? No, they go over. They go that gap above you. Okay. Right there, right? Yeah, filling that gap. Okay. The wood platform is the stuff we can go down on, right? Yeah, it's the one you're currently standing on. All right, so... So three, and then... Oh, no, oh, oh, I hit... Fuck. <laughs> Not sure how to do it, hold on. How do I... What the fuck? <laughs> you gotta make sure that they're on your hotbar. They are on my hotbar, I just don't know how to use it. So you just scroll over to it, make yeah. sure it's equipped, and it's just like placing a block. You just left click. Left click. Oh, there we go. Yep, there you go. Oops. Damn it. Part of the floor is damaged, but it's only one hit. That's okay. I don't see damage. Yeah, there's damage. Where? Uh, right below this block what I'm standing on right now. That's damaged, and this one right here is damaged. How do you see its life? I don't see no life. I don't see a life, but I see a, like, um, I see, like, di I see visible damage. Oh, uh, see, that's an easy fix. Watch this. How's that look? Weird, still looks damaged. <laughs> oh, well, maybe it's not damaged. We gotta craft some doors. And obviously more chairs. So we need six doors currently. I'm not gonna have enough backdrop. We need one, two, three. One, two, three. 
Uh, I might have to send you out to plant some trees and then grow or chop down more trees. Cause I don't know how much of this backdrop I'm about to go through. Probably a, almost an entire stack. Mm, we'll do. There we go. 930 is what I have. Let me up. Thank you. Okay. One door. Two door. Three door. One door. Two door. And three door. Torches. Oh, hey, look. My son's finally awake. Okay, so I need to turn back on the roller for this. Man, that's cheating. <laughs> what? The fact that I can place them from up here. Yeah. Oh, you want to craft me one? Two, three. Hold up. One, two, three, four, five. Never mind, I've got it. Need five more. Because we've got what, like five rooms up there? Let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we got four each for each one. See, so yeah, I need a total of eight. Do I have enough wood for five more tables? Yeah, I do. You'll probably still want to go chop down more trees. You want me to? Yeah, we'll need them here soon. I'll just wait for daytime so there's no enemies. It is daytime. Okay. Okay, table. So the trees that I see, like what I'm next to right now, I can actually can I break these or no? Yeah, you can break them. We can also replant them. Pickaxe, right? Uh, in order to re uh to chop them, you need a regular axe. But to replant them, you need acorns, which they drop. So you need like an iron axe for that? No, you can just use any kind of axe. So I got a pickaxe. Well, pickaxe and uh, axe are two different tools. Yeah, so I'll just I'll do an axe. Yeah, the axe is what you need to chop down regular trees. The uh, world trees or living trees, the ones that look like giant fucking trees. Yeah. Those are the ones that you need a uh, pickaxe for because they're not technically trees. Yeah. Man, it'd be great if they had the ability for me to just auto-place all of this shit. Yeah. Although I'm sure they're working on a method for it. Because a lot of the shit that I saw in the merchant wasn't things that were in the game before. Yeah. Well, you're, you're doing that quite quickly, so I mean... I've got a, I guess, a system down for building things. Like, I know roughly where to stand and everything to do an entire room in one go. The biggest issue with it is, when it comes to backdrop, which is what I'm doing, you can't have any gaps. Yeah. So, like, right there... I don't know if you can see it. Oh, well, I just covered it, so. You can't have any gaps, like like what you see there. Yeah, like you see how there's that one hole? Yeah, there. Yep. Yeah, if that was there, an NPC would not move in. Oh. Move in? Move in or just walk around it or whatever? They can't move be in. So if you open your inventory and you see the uh, house over on the far right side... 
Uh, It'll tell you who lives in what room. Housing. Oh, I see. Yeah. And if it says, like, if you click the question mark, I think it is, and hover over one of the rooms without backdrop, yeah. it should say that it's not livable. Room is missing a wall. That, right? Yeah. Livable. Already occupied. Okay, I see. Yeah. And that's why this part's so time consuming, because it has to basically be perfect. Oops. Like, if I could build it my way, I would not have any uh, backdrop it to begin with. At least not right now, but we kind of need it. Which annoys me only for one certain factor, and that's because as I progress in the game, I like to change how the house looks. Yep. Making it, you know, more fancy and shit, I'll change the backdrop to be something more, you know expensive looking i guess just because yeah generally i'll switch it to like gold or silver walls but you can't get those without having certain npcs and without right. those certain npcs to be able to get that stuff you can't just can't do it but in order to you know get them you have to have them move in you can't do that if you don't have walls which basically just makes me have to do twice the amount of work because when I try choose to upgrade it, I have to change everything by hand. I love how there's so many fucking NPCs coming in now. Yeah, what, what? they'll end up filling every single room. Why do you even want like NPCs in here? Because some sell stuff and then obviously it's they just easy, easy access to them. It is well that and. Say they don't move in, like, say you don't build a house Yeah. that's for them. If you don't, you won't ever find them. Yeah. Like, you'll have the traveling merchant, obviously. He'll come and go as he pleases. But, like, the demolitionist and other useful NPCs you'd never be able to get without doing all of this extra work. Otherwise, you'd have to find them in the map. You wouldn't be able to. Oh. Like, for example, um... This dude, the dude that looks like he comes from the Middle East. Mm -hmm. He's the die, tr the die person. He sells dyes. You will not ever find him unless he moves in. Yeah. Because they don't does, exist does, until they move in. They don't spawn. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Lizard tail, that's decoration, lizard ears, so now it's telling me I can be a lizard. Got it. Oh, I can fly a kite. Cat license. Use to adopt a cat for your town. I already have a cat. Use an additional license. Activate a pet exchange. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. How much gold do I have? I have five gold. Guide to Critter Companionship. Okay, so this bitch must be the druid. Or the dryad, whatever the fuck she's called. You don't have any gold on you, do you? I don't know, how do I, uh, where's the gold? It would be right next to your inventory, those four blocks. Or it says coins and ammo underneath the pickaxe. Oh yeah, I just have seed and copper and silver coin. Yeah, I've got silver and I've got gold, but that's it. What's weird it's is I have for what I want. I have copper coin that says a hundred in the left hand side, but I have only fifty one in the in that coins and ammo place. Oh yeah, so if you take that 100 copper coins, yep. and you, I think it's like sell it to an NPC, you'll get one silver for it. Oh. 100 copper equals a silver, 100 silver equals a gold, and so on. Oh no, but what's the value that I have? Do I have 51 or 100? You have 151. Oh. So essentially one side is, you know, the loot side where all your items are, and then 
the little boxes were your basically money pouches. Yeah. Let's see, what does this dude sell? Stopwatch. I don't care about knowing how fast I'm moving. Cheesy pizza poster. The chef uniform. Kimono. Hey, he's got a water gun. But it doesn't do anything. Man, none of the NPCs we have have anything good. Kind of makes me sad. Okay, so we need a couple more houses filled. We've got one, two, three, four, five. Five houses left that need to be filled. Oh, never mind. Six. That won't take too long. I feel like six should be good for now. I don't know, honestly. Yeah. I never make it very far into the story before I get bored and just start going around killing anything and everything. Yep. Including at specific points. It's the guide. Yeah. And yes, you can kill the guide. He's actually, I think, the only NPC you can physically kill. Granted, killing him isn't so much physical as it is a fucked up way to kill someone. You basically throw a voodoo doll of him in the, into lava down in hell and it'll give you a boss fight. Oh shit. In other words, you're sacrificing the guy to kill a boss. <laughs> Yep. I mean, he spawns back, so I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm over in the desert, and there's nothing here. Oh, but I think I'll teleport back to the base, because I've got to use the bathroom real quick. Okay. We need to work on getting a bed. Okay. That's what we need to work on. But I don't remember how to get them. But I'll be right back. I've got to use the bathroom. Watch it. So we're going to find death, though, I see. See him anywhere. It's got to be down here somewhere. Well, that gets low. Thank you. 